James, up for re-election. Um, over the last four years, as a, as a homestead councillor, what would you say are the main achievements? Well, Thurrock, especially East Thurrock, Conference, Stamford and Corringham, we've got some real opportunities and that comes with challenges. So DP World comes with the opportunities of jobs, challenges, HGVs, we've, right here where we are on Dunstable Road, I've had residents phone me quite late, HGVs are parking here, I've usually come out and had a quick look. Uh, we've got significant pressure on the Greenbelt because we've got an ageing population. You'd have seen me at planning committee fighting Foxville Drive. I'm now working with um, some of the residents on Cameron Close, big uh, infill application there. Obviously the Greenbelt opposite Gable Hall, where I'm working with residents, ageing population, impacts on Basel Hospital. So yes, we've got some real opportunities here between DP World, between a recovering economy, but it comes with challenges, infill, greenbelt, and those are the issues that you know, I've been tackling. Because some councillors are able in their particular ward just to deal, are able to just deal with the small issues day to day, etc. But yours, because of regeneration and other issues, it seems that you and that you have to deal with bigger issues, don't you? You do, and that's a part of being not just a ward councillor, but being a ward representative. So meeting with DP World and saying, yes, we want these jobs, but no, we are not going to accept a situation where we don't feel we're getting enough of the roads. We've got a £10 million contribution for the A13. It's about meeting developers and saying, yes, we need new housing. As a younger man, I know we need housing for people of my age. But it's saying that building on the green belt, very expensive housing, is not going to serve people of my age. That's why we're saying you can't build on the Corian green belt. And that is enticing developers to go to brownfield sites like in Perthley and build affordable housing there. That's the part of not just being a ward council, but being a ward representative, taking those white, those micro issues and expand them into the macro setting. Is that a type of issue? So you're saying these type of issues for the people of the homesteads and this, this general area, these things that are coming up on the doorstep? Yeah, Greenbelt, DP World obviously, the state of our roads, these are the issues that are coming up. And I'm very fortunate, having lived in the middle of the world for for my entire life, I'm in a situation where I'm not just representing my constituents, I'm representing my neighbours, so I understand most the issues that are coming up. You, you know something, it looks like you enjoy being the councillor and you enjoy council meetings and, and challenging people on a number of issues, and whether it's your shadow portfolio or your different portfolios. For example, in education, you're quite, and as, even even the last meet, you asked a question of the book of Yopanada, you didn't feel you got a question, the answer, you'll still plug away if you get re elected. Obviously, if I'm returned, it's a part of the job that I love. It's, it's the opportunity to generally serve. I went to primary schools and secondary schools right here in Stamford and Corrigan. So when I stand up and say, I want to see a smaller education department devolving money to schools, I'm not saying that because it's a political rant. I'm saying it because I went through these schools and I know these schools need the devolution of money and power more than they need the council. Basel Hospital, I've had family members who have sadly passed away in there, some family members who have had exemplary care in there, but we've got real challenges to that. That's, if you remember, that's my very first speech when I was elected. When Labour was saying that we're talking down the reputation of the hospital, I was standing up and saying that as someone who has used the hospital, someone who has seen my family use the hospital, it is an important role of a councillor that we stand up and we champion these issues. I asked a question about, um, obviously, Corrigan Primary, which we're trying to support, Gable Hall is doing a great job at supporting them. I've asked questions about what we're doing with Basel Hospital. I recently sat on the scrutiny panel with the chief executive of the hospital. I'll keep on doing those things. I'll keep on championing those big issues for as long as my constituents allow me to. And, and you seem to work well as a team as well, don't you? I think Pauline uh, Tolson's come come on a long way even over the last year, and yourself so you know, Do you enjoy the team as well as you know people like Phil Anderson, etc.? You do seem to be a good team over here. I'm incredibly lucky to have Sue and Pauline in my corner. Um, if I phone up one of them and say, we have got a problem in this area, for example, Foxfield Drive, Pauline will recite me the names of the folk on Foxfield Drive we've spoken to. If I phone up Sue and say, a constituent has complained to me that they've gone to Bowson Hospital and they've had this service, Sue will tell me who works in that department. We have got a great team here, and if you look at actually what we're doing here, we are beating the infill applications, we are seeing investment into the ward, we are seeing um, a constructive relationship with DP World, we are seeing our local schools being championed in the council champions. you said. We're a great team and I hope my constituents are going to allow us to carry on. You're not afraid of sticking your chin out and, and you, take, you take a punch, if I may say so. Um, but things like Corrigan Police Station, do you think you got it wrong there or was it just a matter of tone? 
you know, you, you've documented my mistakes over the last few years. First of all, I would say that, you know, it was an empty building and in terms of the policy, moving the youth vending service into it is the best youth vending service in the east of England. So that is a tremendous resource to have in Corringham. So the building is now not empty and useless. We are helping to provide a long-term future. And you know, Michael, I've made mistakes. Of course I have. I would much rather be one of the councillors who someone can say, I don't like Halden because, or I like Halden because, I'd much rather be in the category of making the odd mistake than be in the category where, you know, there were some councils I served with in 2010 and I can't remember who they were. I would much rather say that at the end of the day, good and bad, he's worked hard for the homesteads, he's worked hard for his community that he grew up in and if anyone can say anything about me, it's that the community that was good to me, I've given back to it to the best of my ability. James Holden, thank you.